the corporate finance practice problem using Excel, convertible bond change in price and conversion premium. Get ready, it's time to take our chance with corporate finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along. Note that we're in the practice tab as opposed to the example tab. The example tab in essence being an answer key. We have the information on the left-hand side, populating that information into the blue area on the right-hand side, considering our convertible bonds, those bonds which can be converted in to some share of common stock, having the option to do so, but not the requirement. So the information, we got the convertible bonds have the par value of the $1,000, the conversion ratio, meaning the number of shares that we can convert the bonds into 29, the quoted interest rate 7%, the common stock market price is going to be $43, meaning if we were to take those bonds and convert them to that 29 shares, that those have a current market price that's trading on the market at $43, the conversion premium uh, for the bond is 11 for the conversion premium. And then what happens if we have a change that takes place? So we'll calculate it based on that starting point. And then changes that happen over time, including the, the common stock price goes to $31 from the 43. And the conversion premium goes to 105 versus what it was before, which was the 11. Let's start off with our beginning numbers here. We got the conversion value, considering the conversion value, meaning if we were to convert these shares to stocks, then what would be the valuation of those stocks at this point in time, at the beginning point in time? We're gonna say, all right, the conversion ratio was the 29. That's how many shares that we could get, 29 shares if we took the bond and converted it. The market price of the shares currently at the 43 for the common stock. So we're going to underline that font group and value. We're going to underline, and that's going to give us the conversion value equal to the 29 times the 43 or the 1,247. Let's calculate then the bond price. The bond price is going to be equal to the conversion value of the 1,247 and the conversion uh, premium for the bond the conversion premium being defined as the difference between the bond price and the conversion value so we have the 11 here we're going to say then font group and underline that's going to be the bond price so bond price then equal to sum of the 1247 and the 11 or the 1258 so remember that that uh, that conversion bond the conversion premium on for the bond can be a little bit confusing because we've seen that in prior presentation that basically we've calculated the conversion premium on the bond which is simply if given the bond price minus the conversion uh, minus the conversion value to get to the bond premium so if we're given the bond premium and we know what the conversion value is then we just we could do our algebra we can add them together that would give us then the bond price in essence the market price for the bonds that are selling what they're selling at we can look at the current yield then current yield we're going to take a look at the quoted interest rate we're going to assume this is the annual rate here it's going to be the seven percent and the par value this is how much we're going to be paid the par value so we're going to make this a percent number group percentifying it par value at the $1,000. That means underlining the 1,000 font group and underline, we got the interest per year. So interest per year. If we're not, this would of course take place if we were not to convert the bonds and can keep them as bonds, not as stocks, and then collect the interest at the 7% times the 1,000 yearly, $70. The bond price is we just calculated to be the 1,258. Let's underline that by going to the font group and underline that gives us a current yield, current yield, which would be equal to the 70 divided by the 1,258, making that a percent number group percentifying it at a couple decimals. We got the 5.56. Uh, now, of course, time things can change as time passes. The value, the, the price of the stock, could change and we could have you know changes as well to we're going to be changing down here the common stock price and the conversion premium on the bond being the, the changing the kind of like the market price of the bond as well so let's take a look at that we're going to calculate it again this time with our new changes that took place here and see what the what the difference will be 
So we got the conversion ratio. So the conversion ratio is remaining at the 29. And this is the conversion value. So we'll start with the conversion ratio. And then the common stock market price has now changed. We're saying the price, uh, the stock price went to $31. So it went down. That's going to give us our conversion value equal to the 29 times the 31 or the 899. Let's go to the font group and underline. We've got then the bond price that we can calculate, which would be the conversion value that we picked up here. And then we have the conversion premium, which is the difference between the bond price and the conversion values. They gave us the conversion premium of the 105. 105 on the conversion premium, which would give us the bond price equal to the sum of the 899 and the 105, giving us the 1004. Going to the font group and underlining that, there is our bond price. So we can think about the yield then at this point in time, the yield being equal to, let's pick up just the same names over here. I'm going to auto fill the names on down. Same calculation. This time we've got the 7%. Same percent. Let's make that a percent number group and percentify it. The par value, same, 1,000. That hasn't changed on the bonds. Font group underline, multiplying that out, that would be the 7% times the 1000 or the 70 but now we're comparing it to a bond price which is now at the 1004 versus the bond price which was at 1258 so we're going to be comparing the 70 to the 1004 making that a percent number group percentifying add a couple decimals we're at the 6.97 let's put an underline under the 1004 font group and underline so we have this change that took place for the current yield from 5.56 to the 6.6 uh, 6.97